Welcome to Explore the Way. In this video, I am going to explain how to design an inverter from various gates. To derive inverter functionality from any gate, first of all, you need to draw the truth table for available gate. Next, draw the truth table of required gate. First of all, I want to derive inverter functionality from NAND gate. This is my available gate. The functionality of NAND gate is like this. This is the functionality of the NAND gate. And the inverter functionality is when the input is A and the output is Y. Output is the complement of the input. That means if the input is 0, output is 1. If the input is 1, output is 0. So we need to derive this functionality from NAND gate. So here the NAND gate has two inputs. Actually for inverter we need only one input. So we can make the other input constant. Let us assume A as constant. So if A is 0, then check the functionality. The output is 1 irrespective of the second input. If the second input 0 or 1, output remains at 1. So A is 0 is not suitable. Now, if you make A is 1, then if you observe the uh, functionality, output is complement of the second input B. If the second input is 0, output is 1. If B is 1, output is 0. This is the inverter functionality. Now we can make this functionality. So in the NAND gate, input A is equal to 1 and the second input is B, then Y equal to B bar. It acts like an inverter. And if you observe these inputs, we can get inverter functionality from one more combination. If the two inputs are 0, output is 1. If the two inputs are 1, output is 0. So from these two cases, we can observe that if you combine both the inputs, you will get inverter functionality. So we can draw it like this. If you join both the inputs, give some name B, then output is Y. In these two ways, we can make NAND gate as an inverter. Similarly, NOR gate. First of all, NOR gate functionality. So again, we can make A as constant. So from this, if A is equal to 0, Output is complement of the other input B. So this combination is required. If you observe the second combination, when A equal to 1, output is 0 irrespective of second input. So we need to use this combination. In the NOR gate, If you make one of the input 0, then output is complement of the second input. Again, one more combination. If both the inputs are 0, output is 1. And both the inputs are 1, output is 0. So, in this case also, when you combine both the inputs, It acts like an inverter.
and the third case XOR gate. XOR gate functionality is so again one of the input is constant next observe one by one when a is equal to 0 output is same as b a is b is 0 output is 0 and when b equal to 1 output is 1 so this combination is not useful and the next case when a equal to 1 then output is complement of the second input 0 then if b is 0 output is 1 b is 1 output is 0 so we can use this combination so in the xor gate connect one of the input to one logic one this is the second input then y equal to b bar and again just like previous two cases here when both the inputs are zero output is zero both the inputs are one output is again zero so we can't derive inverter functional from these combinations next one XNOR its functionality is again make one of the input constant when a is equal to 0 and output is complement of the second input and when a is equal to 1 output is same as second input so let us take this combination so from this one of the input is 0 then its output is complement of the second input next one and gate see the and gate functionality then here we can check make one of the input a a is constant then when a is 0 output is 0 when a is 1 output is same as second input so we can't derive inverter functionality from this similarly or gate so again here one of the input is constant then when a is 0 output is same as second input and when a is equal to 1 irrespective of the second input output is at 1 so in this case also we can't derive inverter functionality from R gate so we can get inverter functionality from these gates NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR and XNOR gates